Welcome to this guided meditation, which I was inspired to create after the recent floods in my hometown. Seeing the destruction and devastation in the lives of so many people adversely affected, I wanted to somehow offer hope and support to help people overcome the challenges and obstacles as they rebuild their lives. May this time and space bless you and bring you inner peace, strength and courage to rebuild your life stronger than ever before. Make yourself comfortable, either sitting or lying down. Uncross your arms and legs and let your body settle into a relaxed, position. Your hands might like to rest on your chest or your abdomen or perhaps your lap or maybe just by your side. Take a few deep breaths, allowing each breath to help you rest and relax. Rest and relax. Rest and relax. You may like to soften your gaze on a particular spot just above eye level or gently close down your eyes. While doing this meditation, it is important to be gentle with yourself. There is no need to create discomfort in your body and in your mind by trying too hard. Simply observe what is happening with a sense of exploration and curiosity. Remembering that there is no right way to feel. Perhaps you can give yourself permission to feel what you're feeling. Notice any desire to judge your feelings, to want things to be different than they are right now. Just allow yourself to be exactly the way you are. This helps to let go of any distractions and let the mind focus on feeling the breath move in and out of your body. And as you begin to relax deeper, invite you to place your focus of attention on the direct sensations of the breath as it comes into the body and the sensations as it leaves the body. There's no need to force it Hold it, control it, or change it. Let the breath come and go in its own natural rhythm, relaxing you more and more. And as you relax, I invite you to bring your awareness to any sounds around you, in the room, 
outside the room, sounds near and far. Perhaps you're not noticing anything but the music or the words I speak. There's no need to make any effort to listen to sounds. Simply let sound be sound and float out on the air. And you are probably not aware that right now your body is relaxing more with every sound. Relaxing with whatever is coming to you in the form of sound. And if your eyes are open, perhaps they are starting to feel tired and heavy. And they just want to close down. And if they are already closed, notice if they feel tired and heavy. You can see a colour on your eyelids, or perhaps not. All you need to do right now is allow your body to become still, fully present to yourself and relax. stillness, you might be aware of your thoughts, thoughts of anticipation, thoughts about feelings, thoughts about the past, thoughts about what is happening now, or thoughts about the future, noticing how the mind may want to follow the thoughts and gets trapped in the content of the thoughts, wanting to expand upon them and make up stories, judgments and opinions there's no need to get caught in the thought. All you need to do is let the thoughts be thoughts. Simply observe the thought as it comes up in the mind and witness the story. Bring your awareness to notice it. Notice what is within the story. Notice there is a beginning, a middle and an end. Just like reading a book, you can read the thoughts. You cannot jump into the pages of the book. You can only read the story. You have the power to observe and witness your thoughts. And if you find you are lost inside your thoughts, return to the breath. Use the breath to anchor you, to stabilize you back into the present moment into the here and now. Just like putting the book down to take a break, 
You can do the same with the thoughts and put the thought down and witness the thought separate from you, knowing you are much larger than your thoughts and you control your thoughts. You may notice that there are also emotions or sensations showing up in the body and in the mind. Allow yourself to feel any emotion that is present at this moment with the intention to make room for whatever is arising moment to moment. Perhaps asking yourself, how am I feeling right now? Am I peaceful, worried, frustrated? is observe whatever emotion is present with a sense of exploration and curiosity if that is possible for you. Allowing whatever emotions are present to come and go without doing anything about them. Simply notice what they are, how they arise, how they occupy the mind, where do they show up in your body, how much space is taken up in the body. What colour or colours appear with the emotions? Just like waves on the shoreline, emotions Come and go. One moment we are happy, excited. The next moment we are feeling angry, anxious, fearful, triggered by the things that are happening around us. Observing and getting to know your emotions you experience helps to process and be curious to whatever is arising in your body and mind at that moment. What is your relationship to that emotion? Are you pushing it away or are you noticing attachment to it? Emotions, feelings and bodily sensations come and go, disappearing if you don't do anything to hold them. And if you feel out of balance, disturbed or discomfort, you can bring your attention back to the breath and space within you as you let those emotions and feelings come and go. That's right. There's no need to hold on to them 
all you need to do is acknowledge what you feel, where you feel it, and let them all come and go without judgment. Simply be the observer of what you experience and let them come and go. That's right, all of your potential exists in the uncertain space of your future and you might embrace uncertainty and manage things very well knowing that you've got this. You can trust you will manage the challenges and you can repeat these following affirmations in your mind or say them out loud. Whatever feels right for you. But the key is to use your imagination to visualize affirmations as already taking place. Use all your senses to fully experience affirmations as you believe, feel and become what it is you're affirming because we are what we speak. Staying positive does not mean that things will turn out okay. Staying positive does not mean that things will turn out okay. Rather, it is knowing that I will be okay no matter how things turn out. afraid to start over. I am not afraid to start over. It's a brand new opportunity to rebuild what I truly want. It's a brand new opportunity to rebuild what I truly want. I am proud of my ability to recover from adversity. what I need to get through this. I have what I need to get through this. My strength is greater than any struggle. My strength is greater than any struggle. I trust myself to develop strategies to navigate obstacles. I trust myself to develop strategies to navigate obstacles. I find people who provide support for me. I find people who provide support for me. I gratefully accept all the support and help offered to me. Whatever happens, I stay peaceful and calm. Whatever happens, I stay peaceful and calm. I know that I have the capacity to handle it. I know that I have the capacity to handle it. I survived and I continue to thrive. I am grateful to be here, listening and tuning into my inner wisdom. I am grateful to be here, listening and tuning into my inner wisdom. I am unbreakable. I am unbreakable. 
I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I am grateful for those dear to me who are here. I am grateful for those dear to me who are here. The challenges I face, I overcome with courage. The challenges I face, I overcome with courage. I am bold, strong, wise, clever and with the warrior's heart. I am a survivor, resilient, and I will be okay because I've got this. I am a survivor, resilient, and I will be okay because I've got this. This too shall pass. 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 As we come to the end of this meditation, allow these affirmations and anything else that drops in for you to nourish and support you and be present to whatever is unfolding as I give you a moment to be still, to be grateful you are here. this. 